recently the Natasha Denona Yucca palette launched. As you guys know, I already have a full review up. But funny enough, I thought this color story looked quite unique. But then a lot of other palettes also launched around this time that are quite close or reminiscent of this palette. So I would say this is one of the most requested palettes that I've gotten to swatch compare to other palettes. So naturally, I asked you guys on Instagram what palettes you wanted me to compare these two, and I pulled them here. So today we're gonna compare it to the new Stone and Rock from Odin's Eye, good old Natasha Denona Mini Gold, good old gold palette. This one's really interesting. This Nomad palette that just launched, Metropolis, and then the Hella palette from Odin's Eye. So let's go ahead and do that. I think first we'll start off with the Natasha Denona palettes. So I want to do the mini gold compared to the new Yucca palette. So here they are side by side so you can get an up close. And I said in my original review, this looks like an extension of the mini gold palette. I don't really see that many colors that are that similar. Like I would say this color and this color. Maybe this one and Tipu. This one, okay. I do see some I want to compare to, so give me a second. Okay, so on this side of my arm, obviously I have the Yucca palette, and I'm going to compare this first shade to Valley, which is right here. This one definitely is more cool toned. And then this one doesn't really have a match, but for the video's sake, we're gonna put it next to Flax here. Obviously, this is shimmery, but they do have the same effect. I want to compare this one to Plantasia, which is at the very top here. Honestly, these are quite close. Plantasia has more of a reflective glitter formulation. It's a little bit more transparent, but they have the same color pigments. It's just the finish that's different. Okay, let's see what this shade looks like. It's a little bit more green and almost matcha-y compared to the other colors. I'm going to put it next to Acacia. I'd even argue by swatch, it's a little bit closer to Calathea right here. Again, a great addition, not a dupe at all. And then the last shade that I have is this one right here, which is kind of a green brown really not a close color I'm gonna put it next to Mafia which is right here in the palette definitely has a lot more brown I would say if you have the mini gold and you love the mini gold you can definitely go ahead and get the yucca this is the extension to the mini gold all of these colors go with the colors that are already in the yucca palette but Honestly, not a single dupe. All very complimentary. Okay, next up, we definitely need to do the gold palette. Now, in my original review, I honestly feel like these look pretty different from one another. I would say like distant relatives. This is like the more neutral cousin. This is the more fun cousin. They do have that blue and golden brownish theme kind of going on, some greenish as well. But this shall be the ultimate test. I immediately want to compare this shade right here to Plantasia. And they look quite different from one another. They're definitely similar, but still different. This is also a cream to powder shade, so I'm going to compare it right here to Calathea, but you can see the tones are completely different. I don't think there is a similar shade, so I'm gonna pass on swatching this. Let's see, this one I feel like is the closest to Valley. So I'm going a little out of order here, but yeah, these are very, very close. Valley is just a bit more warm. This is a little bit too brown to swatch. This one I'm going to swatch next to Makia, which is a lot more blue, but it has that similar sparkle. But this one is a little bit more of a dark base. 
but they have a similar sparkle and they don't look alike at all. We also have this mustard shade, which I am going to swatch besides Tipu right here. It's a bit more pigment, a little bit more depth here, but very similar in tone. No true gold. I'm going to swatch this against Flax. This is almost better quality. It's like swatching a little better. Do you see that? But the colors are very similar. No dark brown. These are just really too brown. I'm going to swatch this next to this shade right here. Quite similar. The shades just have a stronger base in the big gold palette, I would say. And then I'm going to, because these are way too brown as well. The colors in here are just so much more green. I feel like there is not a similar shade to any of these. So of the palette, the ones that were worth swatching were only seven from the gold palette. Let me know what you guys think about that. But this one is just so much more neutral. There's so much more browns to the point where I don't think they are close enough to justify only having one. If you tend to stick to neutrals and you have the gold palette, you don't absolutely need to have the Yucca palette. But again, I find these to be distant relatives. I could see Natasha getting inspired by this palette, but this one is just a lot more fun. And other than the neutral shades, like these mattes are very similar, these mattes are very similar, these mattes are very similar, and a little bit of similarity in the shimmers. The shimmers in here are just a different formula overall because of their micro fine glimmers. So not a dupe in my opinion. You can have both and be okay. Okay, this is the last Natasha palette that I'm going to compare. I did not talk about this in the review, but so many of you guys wanted to see the difference between the Metropolis and this palette. And honestly, there's just so many shades in the Metropolis. I feel like there's so many opportunity for there to be dupes. So let's go ahead and see. I mean, instantly my eye is like going to this one. So I'm going to pass through each shade individually. There's no dupe for this. This one is kind of close to Calathea, but not really. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to swatch two different shades. Like three different are reminding me. Nope, not a dupe at all. This one, oh my gosh, lots of palettes that I want to dupe next to Plantasia. Honestly, these are like exactly, exactly the same. Just a little deeper, but if you are eyeing Plantasia, I would say it's very close in this palette. I'm gonna pass on this, pass on this. Mm, okay, so I'm going to, no, this one is closer. Pass on this, pass on this. This one, our Valley Girl, gets a lot of attention. This is just a little bit more orange. Nope, nothing quite as gold. I'm just curious, I don't think it's going to be a dupe, and it's definitely not. It's much lighter of a green. Actually, you know what, this is pretty close to Acacia right here. A little bit more lime green, but pretty close. Sorry, I wanted to take off that extra swatch. <laughs> We're going to pass on this. I want to see this beside this Ixia shade. Gosh, these are really close. This one is just a little bit lighter. No vibrant blue and nothing quite like this. Pass, pass. This is somewhat of a green gold, but again, quite different. I'm gonna swatch this next to Willow. It's much more of a true green. To orange, to dark blue. No, this one is definitely very close to flax, but it actually pulled a lot more warm. Flax is much more deep and cool toned. No match for this. Out of curiosity, I'm going to swatch this one next to Willow. Nope, not even close. This one could be a mixture between Valley and Ixia. I'm gonna swatch it underneath food. Oh, actually it's very, very close to Fushi right here. Just a little bit more of a warm tone to it. Fushi has a little bit more yellow, but kind of close, honestly. Not a dupe. Not a dupe. Nope. 
that's that's all I really have. So I would say one shade is similar to no. I mean, you can get the look with this, I guess, but in terms of how close, not really. Not really close at all. I think you can get away with having both. This shade, though, is definitely the closest to that one. And then this shade is close to Fushi, but that's it. Okay, next up we have to do the one that I was the most curious about. So Nomad Cosmetics just launched this new palette. And honestly, the resemblance is absolutely uncanny. So let's go ahead and swatch this. This just launched literally like the day before the Yucca palette. So we were all like, what? I don't even know where to begin. I'm gonna... Like, this reminds me of Valley, right? But this one right next to it also reminds me of Valley. I don't think there's anything close to this one. But the closest one is probably, once again, Plantasia. But this one is much more orange. And then let's see this one next to Ixia. Oh my gosh, dupes. This is a little bit more orange. This has a little bit more brown in it. But definitely dupes. Hmm, I don't think there will be anything for this, but we will come back to that. And this one could, it's not flax. This one is more warm too. Now this one is reminding me of citrine the most, I would say. Oh my gosh, also very, very, very close. This one is reminding me of Makia. Not super close. Honestly, though, it kind of looks more like this shade. So, yeah, it has a little bit more brown in it, but it's quite close. Let's remove this swatch. Okay, so this shade is definitely more of a vibrant green compared to everything. I'm going to put it by Camu Camu, but they are not dupes at all. This is what the Nomad palette has that the Natasha Denona does not have. This one, let's see. I'm gonna put it beside Ray. Super duper close. This is a little bit more bold in the Natasha palette. Ray is a little bit more green, but very, very close. We're going to put Chief's Island next to Calathea. A little bit more of a vibrant green. This one is more neutral, but still quite close. I'm gonna put this one right here next to As Acacia? I don't know. Anyways, I'm looking at it now. It's a little bit closer to Flax and Undertone. So I'm just trying to decide if Flax or Honking Hippos would be closer. Flax is pretty darn close. So let me put Honking Hippos a little bit deep, I would say. It's like if these two had a baby, it would be that shade right here. Oh, actually, just kidding. Does this make a gray? It does. That one is going to go next to Elysian. They don't have a dark shade like this in the palette. And then Mighty Buffaloes doesn't really have a match. If anything, I'd put it next to Elysian right here. Again, I feel like if these two had a baby, it would be this shade. So for the most part, the Nomad Cosmetics palette has very, very close shades to the Natasha or something comparable. The greens in here are a little bit more vibrant. Natasha, I feel like, just leans a little bit more subdued, but I have not put the Nomad on my eyes, but the Nomad shades are swatching very, very vibrant and pigmented. So I'm gonna say if you're looking to save money since both of these are new launches, I don't think you need both because they really both do give a similar effect. I've leaned towards the Natasha because I love the reflex and the detail in the shimmers, but whatever you prefer, these are definitely very, very close. Okay, and next up, I'm gonna do the older Odin's Eye palette, which is the Hello palette, which was in a collaboration with Angelica Nikas who created this beautiful color story. Now, immediately you can see the Odin's Eye is a lot different of a color story, but I do want to see how the greens compare if you're only in it really for the greens. So let's take a look here. Okay, 
I can see, I want to compare this to Tipu. Oh, much lighter, honestly, closer to Camu Camu. This is a little bit too vibrant, I would say, to swatch it. And we'll do this one next to Citrine. Oh, these are very, very close. So Underworld and Citrine are definitely comparable. Slight tonal differences, but very close. Decay, a little bit more of a dark green to it, whereas there's more brown in the Natasha. But again, very, very close. We'll compare this one right here to Ray. Has a little bit more lime green to it, but a similar finish and formula. This one is not gonna be close to Makia. Oh my gosh, no, it's even more neon when you swatch it. So the question is, do we do this one like tone-wise? No, it's not. Honestly, this is very close. Let me ripen up the Willow swatch. More green to it for sure, but interesting how close that was. And then Wolf is giving me major valley vibes. Well, actually, it might be even closer to Tipu. It looks like it belongs in the Natasha palette. And then I would say the rest, definitely, they don't have the pinks and the purples, but the green tones are fitting right in with the Natasha palette. So. If you are only using the greens in this palette, you don't need the Natasha palette, but overall they are different palettes. The Natasha kind of stays in the green color story of the Odin's Eye palette. So what's nice about the Odin's Eye palette is you also have these two pops of color. I honestly think you can have both, but if you're only reaching for the greens, then you don't need both. Okay, this is the very last palette that I have to compare, and this is the newest palette from Odin's Eye. One of the two newest. This is the Stone and Rock. This one was highly, highly, highly requested for me to compare. Also has a lot of those green tones and a couple blue pops. So let's see. Okay, so there obviously is no white, and this one is more of a really light blue. Madness is looking more green, more avocado-y, but for fun, we're gonna put it next to Camu Camu. Not a dupe, but similar vibes. I instantly wanna put this shade next to Makia. <gasps> These are actually very, very close. The passion in the Odin's eye is a little bit more of a bright green. Cheer. Cheer, what do we do with you? We'll do Willow. Honestly, these are kind of close. It's a little darker. This shade I'm gonna do next to Komarebi, which is this third shade. Definitely has more of a minty vibe to it. Not a dupe. Not that many close shades, honestly. We're gonna put this one next to Calathea more of a vibrant green as well. This one is just more fun, right? Well, let's do this one next to Plantasia. This has a little bit more brightness, a little bit more gold to it. This one goes next to Valley, more brown. I'm going to put this next to Elysian. A little bit more brown and has more multicolor reflex. Similar effect, Elysian definitely is a little bit more cool toned as well. I don't know if this will go with anything. If anything, I feel like it would be closest to Calathea. I'm just gonna put it here because it really doesn't have a dupe, but it fits close to the rest. Let's see how high spirits, this is the multi-chrome shade. Oh yeah, it's not gonna be anything like any of these, is it? And then lastly, Elevated, it's going next to Flax. Definitely has more depth to it. Honestly, very similar. The Odin's Eye just has more general richness to it and that just has to do with the formulation, doesn't necessarily make it better. And a few close shades. I think you can get away with having both, but you can easily convince yourself that you don't need both. So I'm just gonna let this do the talking for you to decide. 
So overall, what does this mean? I think for the most part, Natasha Denona stood out on its own very well. It depends what you want out of each palette. Like I think these are different enough, but they definitely do have some close shades. I honestly think Hella is quite different. But if you're only going to use the green tones in the Hella, and you're not gonna use these, you don't need the Hella. But if you already have the Hella, and you love the green tones and you want to expand upon that, this one would be great. The closest match easily was this new Nomad palette. So that's for you to decide. I genuinely don't think you need both. So whatever brand you like better, whatever you want to support, whatever finishes or formula you like better, you're gonna have to decide. I'm just giving you the facts. I really just don't think the gold is that close. I don't. <laughs> Some people do, but I don't. And then there are no dupes really for the mini gold, but gosh, they fit together so well. A perfect match. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it somewhat helpful. I don't normally do videos like these, but I was curious myself, especially with that new Nomad palette, how these were going to do and the lighting is acting all weird, so I'm going to head out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see my review on this palette, Check it out, because I just posted it a few days ago. Bye, guys. Have a good one.